Yo, what's up guys, Sparky here, and uh, today I'm going to do the same tutorial I did before, but I took it down because ScreenFlow didn't export the sound and I deleted it for some strange reason. But okay then, um, uh, it's going to be a tutorial on just some basic editing, uh, exporting with Alpha Channel, it means it has no background from Cinema 4D text. Uh, so you can put on your background. I'll be doing uh, loads more of these small tutorials uh, Which will end up making a good YouTube background So there will be lots of different effects you can do so you can make up your own designs and you know how to do them So uh, you want to open up Cinema 4D And uh, Well, yes um, No, it's just okay. Go ahead, open up some text and we'll write Sparky Because that would be me because that's my YouTube name, and I'm going to write Sparky. Uh, what font should I use? I'm going to use American Captain, but they have to be capitals because they make smiley face. Actually, let's have a smiley face. No, no, that's not a smiley face. Okay, let's have a small smiley face. Okay, so there is my font. You can, obviously, you should know how to mess around with all this stuff uh, I'm gonna quickly I am uh, quickly 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 by putting an overhead softbox to it. Um so basically uh these can be used for anything you really need because some people actually try to delete the background like rubber out or something after they've rendered it and it's sort of like oh that's what they done that with um I just what's that okay. So I thought I might try and help. So, uh, if I just quickly make a lovely, a lovely, lovely red. There we go, that's a lovely colour, isn't it? And put that onto, oh, oh. No, give me the red. Ah, you noob. Okay, we got the red. Um, with absolutely nothing showing. That is just amazing, isn't it? I am so beastly at lighting up quickly. Okay, there we go. Not the best, but okay, let's say we wanted that. I'll put some in occlusion on just to make it that much longer for you guys to watch. Uh, let's say you wanted that, and you wanted to get it without a background, because if you see, you normally render it, you'd get this black background here, and sometimes you try and rub out like background arrays in Photoshop. You can delete some of like the dark bits, like there would be deleted, there would be deleted, all in there. In my smiley face. Uh, so we're gonna do. What is that noise? Are you serious? Okay, if you can hear that, I am sorry, but I will try to turn that out with my noise. Nah, no, I won't. Okay, so go into your save and oh, should I should change your output first. I'm going to use 1080 by 70. Seriously, the noise is annoying me. Save PNG and the reason for PNG is so that supports the no background images with its alpha channel. JPEG won't support it, so it will render out with a black background. Um, under all this bit here, right here, you want to click Alpha Channel, and then obviously, wherever you want it. And then click the Render button. It does look like it's got a black background, but it doesn't. That is the magical bit. If we have a look there, look, no backgroundy. And if we put that into Photoshop here, um, what you can do, this is a little bit to editing it, what I sometimes do, I know it's not right, but I like doing it, uh, I get a brush, I first one will be black, and yeah, that'll do, and just do that across the bottom, and then um, on the next layer, oh, that's bending options, next layer, you get all white, and you do the top, like that. And you press Alt in between the two layers, it makes a clipping mask, or you can right click clipping mask, like so, clipping mask. And you just lower the opacity a bit, and lower the opacity a bit, and it just gets that cool sort of effect going on there. Another one you can use if you know how to use them is curves. Now, you go to image adjustments and curves. I'm not the greatest at curves, but they do enhance your photo quite a lot. Um, just grab a point and you can fiddle around with it, it gets no, like you can put it up to the brightest point to emphasize the color, the brightness, or bring it down 
to get the darker bits. It's sort of you can change it around. That's all the colours. You can just change like the red, or the green, or the blue, and you can move like the bottom bit to change the colour sometimes. I don't know. It doesn't always work, you know. But yeah. Um, I might lower that down actually. So you look now, it sort of gets a nice sort of vibrant colour now. And that is it. Um, if you're going to use that, I suggest you merge the layers and then you can do whatever you want with it. And put it into your background and make it smaller or warp it, whatever you want to do with that. Obviously, it doesn't have to be text, it can be absolutely anything in Cinema 4D. If you do have a background, I don't know why you would, because you would delete it, but let's say you have... Why am I using a cube? I don't know, but let's make it... I can't be asked. Okay, let's watch this. Let's say you have this cube behind it for some strange reason, you wanted to have a cube. It would render out the cube as well, it wouldn't just render out the text, obviously. So, what you'd have to do with that, you could either obviously delete it, it would make life so much easier. Or you can just not have tick that so it doesn't render out if you don't delete it, and then it won't render. So yeah, uh, that's it, guys. And I'll be releasing more of these videos. But I've got college tomorrow, so on the weekend I'll be releasing more of these videos. Uh, if you have any ideas of what I can do as well, I've got a few. Um, put it in the comments below, and I will do my best to do them. See you later.